Right. Bah. Let's not waste any time here. I've only got about an hour before I have to go do something. That's it, Roach. Let's go, Roach. Dibs on a chat with him. A long one. <clears throat> what do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augeries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened postures all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Hmm. Well, all in all... Yes or no? Fine. Let's hear it. Nice. <clears throat> A tea of mullen leaves for his belly, and cover his boils with mallow. A few days and he'll be good as new. Noted. But if it don't work, we'll be back. Move out, boys. Get Edric's friends all worked up. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. Mm. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the D. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanted to possess her. <clears throat> Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. She'll never have taken it off. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. <clears throat> Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the Aldering? Would 
without the goat. Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. Okay. I'll get your goat. <laughs> the bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. Hey, come on. Come on, let's go see the beller. Come on, take you back to the beller. Misses you something awful. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? This way, your grace. Hey. Where the hell did you go? Hey. What are you doing, you mad bitch? Bear! Bear! Oh, Christ. Oh, my fuck. Oh, okay. Well... Shit out of luck, I suppose. Jesus. Dice gone. Holy shit. <clears throat> Alright, princess, let's go. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Nowhere in sight. Nowhere to be found. She's Why here. Not even a white wolf can make up for a missing goat. Princess, flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. <laughs> goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat. <laughs> Happy for you, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Be right back. <laughs> Will the 
this do? It's over. Is that it? That is it. The spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Did the Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Okay. What happened to the child? In a grave thrown. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. It is a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Hmm. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. <coughs> Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefathers' Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. 
If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Jesus. Okay. Now we're going back to the Baron. <clears throat> Lightning strike. Oh shit. Come on, Roach, move your ass. So bright. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies in <coughs> rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. Okay. See what I can do. Hurry now. Quick. Oh jeez, he's over there just stomping on someone. Fucking idiot. Miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! You white oh, now it's They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Oh shit. Chop. Chop. <laughs> Sit down. You beat them. 
I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife, how'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, <laughs> you haven't a clue, have you? Hmm. Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day. But not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. Control? What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Doesn't much matter now. I know how to find them. How? I know about the baby. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. It seems. All right. I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Whose fault is that? Out of the <clears> bottle. <throat> Whose fucking fault is that? Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but <coughs> kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Tomorrow present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. <coughs> she didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, tiny thing, defenseless. 
on bloodied sheets. Dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it, handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Yeah, let's do it. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the <laughs> common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. <coughs> Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up, and empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. Look! Bruh, what the fuck? in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling or I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Do it. The merciful gods. Back to the 
fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lover kit. Oh, fuck. God damn it. God, I hate race. Oh my god, so much. So many rates. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's, it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Daya. 
and embrace thee as my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. The guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. How do I do it? Oh, I knew that. I knew that. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Alright, we're just gonna be walking with Daya here for a little bit. Boop, 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 do, do, do. Do, 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 do. That's Jesus. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was not on purpose. Give <clears throat> Oh look, here's some drowners. Let's. We need the brains. Yo, drowner, here's a brain. Kill this one before it take us. Hair. How did I get hair off that guy? Literally a fucking amphibian. Oh, okay. Swallow. I literally don't have a fucking anything. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Clothing. They change in here. Hmm. 
horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more. Drink some apple juice. Be grand, you know. Just what the doctor ordered when you get fucking wrecked by monsters. <laughs> Drink your apple juice. Do 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 do. Jesus. Oh god, really? Oh my god, what the fuck? Jesus, so many rock beans, what the hell? Let's take all this stuff. I'm sure we'll need it later. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Mm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. I need Calendines. I don't know what I'm picking up, I'm just gonna grab everything I can. Well, I don't want to go too far off the road, but you know, I'm just along the pathway. You know, grab it. Oh, Jesus. No, I don't care. Fuck off, wolf. Keep running, but I can't. Are they gonna keep chasing me? Okay. Jesus. Keep forgetting to. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? Another room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kiddie. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Happy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Her son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. I'm sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? We're like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. The moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing over the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Hmm. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside burned like a cattle brand i no these wasn't black scars scabbed over these hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire mm. fine what happened next grew even darker seemed someone had put out the stars crickets all went silent of a sudden and then from the woods a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. The beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Why the death? Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted him, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Mm. Married a wise woman. Smart lady. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Okay. Thanks for your help. 
The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Rory. Oi. Let's go. Keep on going. We're just gonna keep on going. Don't mind all those enemies. We'll figure it out later. Jesus! Ah, sorry. Oh God! Go, go. All right, here we go. Pat, why is there not like a? Okay. Hey there. I'll just walk the rest of the way. Need to be on this bridge. Honor in the fatherland. <laughs> oh. Oh. Can I knock it through here? No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. Thank God I got one. This way, you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal. The red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense we've got again. They're really off their heads these days. That happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. Trolls. Alright, there's trolls about. There are contract, contract, contract. Suits there. Gwent. Alright. Don't need to worry ourselves about any of that right now. Just pick up those missions and I'll figure them out later. for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away.
you're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sent you? Yeah, to see if you're still alive, and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen <clears throat> me, I bid you farewell. Wait. <clears throat> We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help. Blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry. Must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock. She was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seed. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. Hmm. Then that thing grabbed my mum <clears throat> and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Mm. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Mm. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. <coughs> a killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. 
So the Baron hired a witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding a mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The eternal fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell. Hey. You do what you gotta do, right? <clears throat> Okay. Walk down. Remember me. Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. <clears throat> I'm grateful. Okay, cool. 20 fucking coins. I'll take that. Nice one, lad. <laughs> you oh wait. Where is he? Witcher. A word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there at a place. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. We take all these flowers. Never know when you're gonna need them. Whatever, they, whatever ones they are. We're taking it all. Stealing all your shit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms will please Daya most. Oh, it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned felon. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Hmm. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she alright? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her, at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? 
and that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? She's not coming back, period. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to return to a home like this either. Ah, Harold's hair. Bugger you, blind. I know what you think already. You've no need to repeat it. I've not been a good father, I know, but perhaps it's not too late. Can always try. Wouldn't count on succeeding, though. I've nothing to lose. Very well. You were to find them both. What have Anna learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size, why, worthy of one of King Foltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? A Kaer Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it, seeing how you swing that sword. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. What? All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself, I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. <laughs> Horse for a sword. That seems like a fair trade, you know. Dawn, we ride. As ever. First one to the tower. Let's fucking go. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. Mate, I'm gonna really try and not embarrass myself. Oh, when we're gone sideways. Had one just like it. Fuck no, it's not. Bro, I almost lost. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. 
The mayor is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Hold on, let me... So long. Let me play some Gwent with this guy. See if we go. Oh, well, I can fix me deck as we're I'm we listening. Ever... I do. And what's more, bud? Uh, let's lamp. All right, let's see. Do we have any bar cars here? Mm. Okay. Alright, he's got the same moves, alright. Cool. Alright, we're literally playing the same cards. Scorch. Alright, well look, at least he got rid of his Scorch. Take that as a <laughs> have to try and just get him to waste a bunch of cards, you know. Hope that he doesn't uh sixteen. Well, I'm kinda of fucked. Do we let him what do we let him win? I don't know, I don't I don't think that'd be a good idea. Maybe I use maybe I just yeah, maybe I just flatten out the whole board. Oh god no. For, for, oh. Okay, he passed. Let me see what, what, what I can do. Oh, what? Oh my god, no. I'm such an idiot. I forgot. I forgot I am. Um, I forgot I changed the fucking thing. Oh, we're screwed. Past. Okay, he wants to keep his cards. There's no way I want to win this. this guy's got seven cards left. Don't fuck. should work on you let's try again I'm listening what In. we're playing Gwent motherfucker
Or you could try and get him to waste his scorch again. Alright, cool. for siege units. Okay. See, we can't really... Oh. Well, no. There's no way. There's no way. I can't, think, I can't win. He already wrote. He already had that wreck in me. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, what? That's insane. Alright, I think I just, I just need better cards before I can fight this guy. He passed. What's the difference of no cards? One, okay, I have one card. one we have to do let's just uh get as close as we can get right throws perch i'll save that and then Call that. 